month, September. And it will be so happy for me if you can go to Cherry Street here and see some of my work. And I would like to walk in these uh, installations. These uh, four sites are centered, like uh, Joseph said. Let me show you some part of this amazing uh, school. This is the area where I teach for maybe like uh, five years ago, four years ago, I was teaching here. Maybe 22 students, they beautiful students. Uh, just a few of them was speaking Spanish and I feel very happy to answer their questions. And I was happy to enjoy my paper mache program and my puppet uh, making arts. Los niños que estaban aquí eran como entre 22 y 25 y había muy poquitos niños que hablaban español, pero ellos estaban muy felices de poder preguntarme cualquier cosa en su idioma. Este es otro salón. Como pueden ver, aquí hay algunas muestras de lo que hago. Esto es papel maché con algunas cosas de fierro. Yo trabajo con cosas que me encuentro o que la gente me regala. Eh, no sé, tal vez es como una manía que se ha convertido en un arte, pero son producto de mi imaginación y mi background y mi um, herencia. Este corazón se los quiero mostrar más de cerca porque este corazón está cubierto con cascarón de huevo. This heart is making with paper mache and it's covered with um, egg shell. And let me tell you that through my work doing the recycle stuff or the pop cycle, I find out that eggshell is extremely good. It's as strong as a cement. Unbelievable, this stuff. I did a small box five years ago and I live outside, it was a snow, raining, hot, you know, the weather in Philadelphia and it's still there. And I was like, wow, that is so amazing. With paper mache, with eggshell, was so nice. And let me show you more about this beautiful place. Let them know that uh, we're transitioning right now. So ah, yes, it's yes. A little bit of a mess. Es a little bit of a, uh, no a mess, uh, uh, or, ordenando. Ellos están ordenando. Ah. <laughs> and this is part of the port side. And this is a very nice place because whatever you can see is art all over the place. Este es otro salón en port side art school. Tú puedes ver esto. En español decimos que es un galerón, como una gran bodega. Y la han ido adaptando la directora, que es Kim Creighton, y todas sus asistentes, que no las puedo nombrar todas porque, bueno, son bastantes, todas han tenido unas magníficas ideas y todas son unas grandes artistas. Y aquí el que no está loco es bienvenido a hacerse loco. O sea, entre artistas. What I say is, uh, if you are not crazy, don't worry. When you come here, you will become a crazy person. That is all you need for being an artist. Now it's not true. <laughs> this is another big room. And Porsai has a, a space for upholstery. For, uh, in Espanol se llama tapicería. And upholstery is something, it's no place in Philadelphia. I think so it's just two places in Philadelphia where you can learn how to do upholstery. Solamente hay dos lugares en Filadelfia donde tú puedes aprender a hacer, um, ¿cómo se dice? Capicería, capicería. Es un excelente lugar donde vienen dos veces a la semana, adultos nada más, y participan en este taller. Bueno, esto es parte de Portside, uh, where I feel so happy to be part of Portside. And let me tell you how it was and how I came to this school. In 2011, in el 2011, when I recently arrived to Philadelphia, my English was um, 
you know, broken, <laughs> uh, like a, maybe nothing, just the basic stuff. And I went to this fest, the Kinetic, Kinetic Fest in Kensington Street. And then one lady who was speaking Spanish, she's wife, uh, the Henry Bermudez. Henry Bermudez is a very an amazing, good Venezuelan artist. And she told me, you know, maybe you can go and see a poor side. Maybe they need somebody. And I went to Portside, I remember, and I knocked the door. I called first and I make an appointment. And then I come and I knock the door and Kim opened the door and she said, hi, Veronica, welcome. But she speak too fast for me. Ella hablaba demasiado rápido para mí. My English was like a meow. When she started speaking to me, like, hi, Veronica, how are you, welcome. Uh, okay, sit down. I was like, a, what she's telling me, you know? And I have to think and I was sweating. Oh my God. And then she hear what I have to say. And I say, you are from Mexico. And I show her my puppets and a little bit of my work. Like I do a lot of paper mache and we call alebrije in Spanish. It's paper mache technique. And we put together like um, different pieces of animals, like a roster, fish, dragon tail, we call alebrije. And I show her an example of that. And she says something else in English. But the thing I get it was, okay, I can give you one day for summer camp because your English says la la la, but this is why I want you here. Because the students will be put attention to what you say, and that's what I want. And I, for me, it was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and that 2011 was my first summer camp at Portside. And I was so happy because all the students, they really was quiet when I had with them. Ellos realmente pusieron mucha atención a lo que yo tenía que decir. And some of them, I think so they even understand what I say, but the way I thought, it was like, a, they was like, a, what do you say? And what's so funny, and, and for that day and gone, now I'm part of Portside and I'm very happy with this opportunity to be, you know, showing my recycle art or more pop, upcycle art or, in español es solamente arte reciclado o rescatando basura o cosas que fueron, que estaban en la basura. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Eh, somebody wants to, to ask me something, feel free to, uh, to do it before I show you something else. Nobody? Okay. I've got a question, oh. Veronica. Huh? Yes. I have a question. Um, yeah. So in one of your statements that I read, you wrote really eloquently how um, through, a, through a jug, a pot, a pinata, embroidered apron, um, people can tell a life story. And I was wondering how material culture impacts your work. Okay, uh, impacts very deep because it's something is with me all the time. I am the kind of person who I am very proud of be, about being born in Mexico. And piñatas is, speaking just about piñatas, when you make a piñata at your house, it's, you know, it's the family will get together. It represent good times. You can see, you know, reunion. You can enjoy good food and be happy to broken something, you know, without feel like somebody's gonna punish you. That is very important. And because I am a person who like to, to deal with my tradition in a happy way. I know it's a lot of sad things outside, but let another people to do the sad stuff. I'm happy to be doing the happy thing. And the colors mean something, and piñata has a meaning through the Catholic religion. Piñata means like a, all your sins, and because in the uh, Catholic religion, we have seven sins. 
And that is why the piñata has to have seven peaks. And then you broke, and then you broke that. And then you are renewed. Tú eres nuevo en esta etapa de tu vida. I say good. <laughs> okay, let me show you something. Yes, I did. Let me see if I can uh, do something to this camera. Uh, no, I think so. Yes, like this. Okay, you can see this piece. Do you want to hold let's, it up? Let's pull it up. Yes. Right here. No, it's the light. Uh, better right here. Thank you, <laughs> Claudia. Okay, we're getting an internet upgrade, yes. which is uh, we're having we're having some people do some work here. Today. Yes. You you can keep plus. Okay, this is a mix with wood, paper, and a staff. A very good friend who is right there. She give me the uh, how do you call the relojes? Watch the oh. watch. The watch. Yes, the watch are there, and I call him. The angel of the time, because this material represents, you know, this was an old watch for a big house. And somebody uh, gave me to me because they know I, I like to work with wood. And they say, I found this, maybe you can do something. And it took me years to, to get all the pieces together. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't want this all. But let me show you. I think so. This is like uh, 60 something, this piece. And, you know, just paper and colors. And this is like uh, an angel. And I'd like to do the golden boots. Because sometimes people get a lot obsessed with the time. Like, uh, Oh, uh, the time is against me. Uh, I spend too much time. I don't have time. And we became slaves of the time. And there's no reason for that. Because let me tell you something. Time is an invention. Really the time, this is not, there's no time. You know, we just use for measure something for give peace to our human soul. And this piece, it will be at the pier. Thank you. And um, that piece represents how something that was at the, at the trash can uh, will be bring some kind of reflection because we are living in a society the throwing away. Nosotros estamos viviendo en una sociedad de poner cosas en la basura, de dejar cosas fuera, aun cuando sirven, even when they are still good. This is why I like to work with things I found, because it's like a second chance, chance second opportunity. And it's like a, every human being has a second, three, four opportunity. Todos los humanos tenemos muchas oportunidades y es algo positivo. Y a mí me gusta y creo que eh, lo mejor de la vida es hacer lo que a uno le gusta. That is something. What I like is, you know, do things that really people like to do. Any questions? Uh, I want to know if somebody is there, like... Uh, my sister, Patricia, are you there? No, she's not there. Maybe she's sleeping. She promised me, I will be there. I will support you. <laughs> and um, I like to, to tell like, uh, I have the opportunity to work with Cynthia. Cynthia is right here and Oh yes, I want your eggshells, please. The plants has enough eggshells, Cynthia. <laughs> uh, I helped Cynthia 
with the puppet eater about Lucha and Lola. Lucha and Lola give me a big satisfaction. Satisfaction? Yeah, satisfaction. Lucha and Lola, they are two puppets. And yes, you will see soon the Lucha and Lola puppets. They really, they, oh, yeah, yes. And um, I work with another kind, the tradition in my country. I work with my tradition like Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos es otra tradición con la cual yo tengo el gusto de, de poder trabajar. Eh, te, tengo algo que mostrarles. Claudia me va a ayudar. Eh, es un slideshow. Creo que aquí nada más. Así. Ahí está, ahí está. No, ahí. Ahí. Ok. Eh. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me know if you see something. Yes. Okay. What is it? Your video. Oh, it's false, but it's, it's coming. Can you all see uh, the picture on Veronica's screen? Yes. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. This. This is a box. Uh, how you call the, this when you went drawer? A drawer. This is a drawer. Drawer, yeah. Drawer, yes. Okay. Un cajón de ropa. And I create this a scene. It's like a two Mexicans. And this painting and the flowers and everything. But this painting has something I want to share with you. Esta pintura es very, es muy importante para mí. Porque las pinturas con las que las pinté es óleo. Pero este óleo me lo regalaron en Forsyth. Yo no soy pintora. Pero dije, voy a utilizarlo porque es un óleo muy especial para mí. That óleo is something that Forsyth gave me to me. I am not a painter, but I used to. I, I start doing óleo because this óleo was a donation somebody give to foresight. And then one day Kim say, come on artist, take some oil and take with you. And then I take some colors because I like colors. And I say, I'm sure I can paint a, you know, furniture or table or something. When they give me the oil, I ask, but why are so many? And Kim, who is the director of foresight, she told me, she said, because this was a big donation. The woman who was a very good painter, she passed away. Her mom died six months ago. And she cannot deal with the life without her mom and she commits suicide. And I was so touching for that history. And I say, I cannot do that. Like keep this audio to me. I must to do something. And I'm gonna start painting that paint. This is a small box. Uh, for a cigar box, it's very small. That uh, Monica is a parent from Portsmouth and she was working in a cigar store and she bring a lot of cigar boxes. And then she give the Kim and the people of Portsmouth, they give me the cigar boxes and I did this. This is a classroom and this is something very common at Mexico. Oh, sorry. What happened? Okay, this is another cigar box. This is a cleaning lady with the cinnamon stick because the idea is like a, the house has a smell of cinnamon. <laughs> Everything is very tiny. This is for Day of the Dead. And this is another one that I call the new house, La Casa Nueva. And this is made all with cedar. Cedar is the cedar? kind of cedar, yes. Todo está hecho con oh, madera de cedro. Entonces, cuando tú abres esta cajita, todo huele ay, así como a madera nueva. Por eso no tiene color, solamente la calaverita, porque se acaba de cambiar a esa casa. Y es lo, lo que tiene. Y aquí podemos ver que tiene un perrito. Ahí. There's a dog. She has the dog over here. A dog? Yes. Oh. You know, it's like the... This little thing, okay. And everything, the small 
uh, skeletons, they are made with bread dough. With bread. Bread dough. Yes, bread dough. Uh -huh. eh, nosotros le llamamos masa de migajón. Y bueno, tengo otras. ¿Cómo le quito? You're done with the slides. No. Yes, I, I done with this slideshow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have another slideshow. Another one? Yes, but okay, let's see. And this is what I'm I'm doing in, in my Day of the Dead. I do the boxes we call daily life. Estas cajitas que hacemos el día de los muertos representan el día a día cuando las personas estaban vivas. When they was alive, you know, just common things like people sleeping, like people going to the school, because, you know, in our tradition, it just, we don't die totally. We just go to do the same thing in another level. And, but this is another uh, topic about I do my classes. Eso es otra, mm, otra forma de mostrar mi tradición a través de, del Día de los Muertos. Y es algo muy importante que para mí siempre ha sido, no es algo que yo haga porque está de moda. Es something I, I really do this because it's uh, so important to me. It's not because it's a mold. Is no because it's something is the new thing like now it's happening all over people less um, co corrupted so many traditions through fake ideas through giving wrong information it's not true every human being has the right to be different and to keep their traditions and to show the way they want. It's nothing wrong with that. And um, then what I really want to, to do is be content with the things I have around me, you know? And if these things people like and they want to have it, I'm so happy to give these things, even for a prize or even as a gift, because it's time to give, to give even a good messages, to give even a good, uh, a good look, you know, not like give a bad look, <laughs> and to give a good uh, advice, or just to be quiet and don't judge people. Is we are going to a very new change. Vamos a dar un gran cambio en esta vida. Es tiempo de dar sin miedo, sin pretextos. En la medida que nos aceptamos nosotros, aceptamos a los demás. Eso es lo que yo quiero transmitir a través de mi arte y de buscar cosas en la calle y de decir gracias a la persona que no conozco, pero que puso algo en la basura y que es bueno para mí. To say thank you and somehow to the person who put something at the trash. And even I don't know who they are, but I say thank you because that thing is good for me. This is, anybody has question? Uh, and if anyone, uh, doesn't feel like speaking, you can always type a question into the chat. Um, Veronica, one question I always like to ask because we do uh, predominantly youth programming is what advice would you give your younger artist self um, as an adult now? Oh my God, thank you for that question. A youngers, I give uh, advice to youngers like a, don't fight with yourself. Don't, or oh, instead to say don't is be the person you want to be, but that is something I want to say. And I wish when I say it became true. Don't use 
or don't abuse about substance. You don't need to put nothing in your body to be the person who you want to be. Don't believe about the drink is gonna make you feel better or the smoke or the using. Don't believe that. That is an excuse for be the person who you want to be. Just be who do you want to be. And if you want to do something like create something and you feel like you are not good enough, don't worry, move on, do something else. Nobody is good for everything. Nobody knows until you go and have the experience or do the mistake. That is my advice. Like, no utilice nada que sea fuera de su cuerpo. No necesitan ni tomar ni fumar en exceso. Hagan lo que ustedes gusten, tengan, sean auténticos e intenten hacer lo que quieren. Si no les funciona, no se preocupen, intenten otra cosa. La vida está llena de cosas que podemos hacer. Cambien. El cambio es lo mejor en la vida. Cambien su forma de lo que ustedes gusten cambiar, ¿verdad? Aunque dentro seamos los mismos, pero cambien para que se sientan mejor. Incluso a veces hasta sin hablar es buena idea. Sometimes even without talk, just be, you know, inside. It's, it's something, something good. And uh, I, I like people question something. If they want, oh, tell me something about what, what, uh, about what do you like if I can do something? What do you think I can be doing about art? What, uh, if do you want me to express them somehow, you know, some piece? You know, tell me something. Díganme algo, por favor. ¿Qué les gustaría que yo hiciera? O que mostrara? O que creara algo? Algún reto? O alguna pregunta? Díganme. Pueden escribirlo. Ay, qué calladito. Hola, hola, Verónica, ¿cómo estás? Hola, muy bien. Me conoce. A ver, ¿me suena esa voz, Marilyn? Ajá. Oh, Marilyn! Sí. ¿Qué va a hacer en el centro allá, en el residency? ¿Qué, plan, ¿Qué planes son? Voy a tener la exposición de varias cosas que hice, mesas, ventanas, pintura, y voy a estar haciendo talleres. Oh, ok. De, de, voy a dar, de, 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 Tú puedes estar ahí, sí, y aparte voy a tener cosas muy pequeñitas, de, desde cosas muy chiquitas, porque la idea de poner la, la residencia ahí es que voy a tener como si fuera una casa mexicana. Oh, ok. Pero tú puedes llegar y, y desde una caja de cerillos uh -huh. hasta un cuadro va a haber ahí. Esa es la idea, para que la gente vaya y realmente esté un ratito ahí, pueda observar. Y, porque soy un artista de la comunidad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Así es que eres muy bienvenida, Marilyn. Ah, ok. Ya. Yeah. Voy a estar allá. Este, uh, dilo a lo que hablamos inglés. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Ok. I will say in, in English that I will be at the Cherry uh, Street Pier uh, doing some workshops. And the, uh, the place I, I will do, like, uh, it's a Mexican house. Because the idea, I, I want people to go there and yes see sí, Cynthia yes um because I will make us a home and people can come and visit the Mexican house and I will have like a little stuff like until candles and little matches like a Mexican style until big frames and things like that like you're welcome to come And if you want to buy something, we will so happy. And if you just want to go and take pictures, we will twice happy. The point is we want you there. Cherry Street Pier is a very good opportunity and it's something the Philadelphia people is doing with a lot of effort. You know, we want something good for Philly. Philly is the city and love, the brother and love, and we must to show that love. I'm talking too much. But yes, Cynthia, we can customize the, the art. You're welcome. Any other questions, beautiful friends or enemies? <laughs> Cynthia. 
I just loved this. Thank you so much. I think this was the best Zoom experience I've ever had because we, you know, there's people that like, that like antsy, like me, they just can't sit still and watch the same screen and the same person. So wandering around and showing us what, I am assuming it's port side, am I right? Yes, yes, it's port side. I say like a 20 times, maybe I have to <laughs> correct my pronunciation, port side, our center, yes. But I, it was just so cool because I've been wondering if I can do that myself, if I can pick up my iPad or whatever and walk around like, because my mom's in a, in a rest home and I'd like her, I'd like to show her my house. So yes. you got up and you walked around with your device and it just made it so much more interesting to, yes, see, yes. Side, to see the people wandering around and just talk about the yes, yes, yes. The guy for, for the, he's fixing the, the cable for we, we can <laughs> keep the, the, com, the communication. Well, and yes, Cynthia. It was a twofer. Yes, and I can make you dizzy too. <laughs> we got something about thank you that's all i want to say it was wonderful thank you and uh i believe that uh doing art has to do with movement yo creo que hacer artes tiene que ver con el movimiento uh, one of my jobs is a fax you know the charter school and um, the fax school, they asked me for record a video about, say something about myself for the new students. And I make two videos. One sit down at the corner, just static. And another one I shoot outside with the green and beers and a little bit of noise. And they choose the, the, with the outside video because they say, it will be more interesting for the students who they are sit down. Because they say, when you hear somebody talking about something is not interesting to you, maybe you fall asleep and they don't want that happen to the students. Ellos no quieren que eso pase. Pero pienso que movimiento y vida van unidos. Movement and life is together. Actually, in the Mexican culture, we have the legend about the five sons, the Los Cinco Soles. And the last song that God created in the uh, Mexican culture or the um, Mayan culture is about the movement song. El Quinto Sol es acerca del movimiento. And in Aztec, we call Olin. Or lean. That means movimiento, movement. And that's what, uh, you know, something about the Mexican culture. And then, how, how long, how much time we have? Uh, and we can go until 1.30. So we have okay. a little, little bit of time if people have other questions or. Yes. Questions or just they want to, you know, share something. It will be good for me. Let's see this. Okay. I really like this sofa. Was made here in Portside, at Portside, in the upholstery department. <laughs> yes. And is somebody from Tijuana here? Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. Um, uh, nobody wants to say something, guys? Okay. Oh, you want to write something? I see somebody wants to say something. You should talk about your road trip. Oh, yes. My road trip. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. I did my van, <laughs> you know, my Ford Explorer, the sport truck. I built a wood uh, van. And then I take my mom, my two sons, my two dogs, and the cat, and myself. And then I draw through Philly all the way back to Tijuana. 
And it was amazing. The cat behaved very good. Yes, he really did. El gato se portó súper bien. Nunca lo tuvimos que forzar a nada. Solamente mi hijo lo agarró y lo puso en los pies de donde va el asiento. Y el gato con los ojos así grandotes se, se quedó muy contento hasta que empezó a sentir el calor. The cat with the big eyes was like that on the floor of the first, you know, next to the, where I drive, the other seat. He was like this with the big eyes. He was very nice just until he started feeling the heat. He get like a little bit, like a meow, meow, like where I'm going, where I'm going. Was a good experience, a little bit of stress for me. Fue una experiencia buena, pero fue algo preocupante para mí porque tenía que manejar a una velocidad. I have to drive in the, in the freeway with the speed, you know? And there's so many trucks. They drive every day. They have experience. They was very like that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Pero nos quedamos en Texas, nos quedamos en Ohio, nos quedamos un poquito en... Hay so many places, you know? And I drove for five days. And was so hot. The five days was like uh, uh, hot all the time, the air conditioner in the car. And I have pictures, Marilyn, later I can make a small book, a funny book about that. <laughs> yes. Somebody else want to say something? Uh, please let me know. Are there any experiences from your trip that made it into any of your artwork? Yes. Or, or influenced it? Yes, you know, uh, my, my truck, my idea was to be just like a gray, like a alumin, aluminum color, aluminum color, <laughs> that's the word. But once I start driving, people was looking at my truck, like, like a, somebody made like a, like very well done, you know, because it's just wood, but we make very precisely like a come out from the factory. Yes, I will create a big uh, paint in my truck. Something about Mexico. Uh, you know, luchadores, the wrestling guys, something like that and with hearts and maybe cross, you know, yes, <laughs> Some, something like that. That inspired me to do something and feel no shame that, oh my God, my truck has a big box now, like feel content. Me siento muy contenta de lo que hice. Fue mucho trabajo. Quedé más prietita de lo que estoy. Me quedé muy morenita. Mucho sol. Too much sun. Pero es mucha satisfacción porque es un logro más. Es another step I conquer. Y, y realmente le quiero agradecer a todas las personas que están conmigo en las buenas y en las malas. A todas las personas que de alguna forma se expresan eh, a través de su forma de ser conmigo, que me aceptan como soy y también a las que no están de acuerdo conmigo también les quiero agradecer porque ellos me hacen crecer and I want to say thank you to all the people who is with me even they cannot be, they cannot agree with me, but thank you because that people made me grow up and look forward to be better even if I do mistakes Thank you to the people who is with me every time. And believe me, I really love the way people is with me. And I appreciate very deep every time people is doing something with me. And if I have something to say, like I don't feel kind of, you know, good, 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 good. Uh -huh. I like to speak out. Me gusta decir lo que pienso. I believe it's very important to keep things going on. Pienso que es muy importante porque podemos lograr hacer muchas más cosas siendo honestos. We can do more stuff being honest with ourselves and with others. And even you can tell me sometimes, like, you know, I don't want to know nothing about you. And I will say, okay, bye. Pueden decir eso. <laughs> like, ya no puedo verte. Adiós. Voy a decir adiós. Eh, las personas tenemos diferentes caminos. 
pero cuando estamos juntos podemos disfrutarnos, aunque no estemos de acuerdo. Eh, ¿Algo más? ¿Alguien? Yo quiero saber por qué mi hermana no está aquí. A ver, Patricia. Igor, are you here? Igor. No. ¿Sí? Hola, Verónica. Es Pedro. Hola, Pedro. ¿Cómo sí. estás? Muy bien, muy bien. Me encantó la presentación. Me encantó todo. Me encantó saber que está aquí. No sabía si, si que estaba aquí en Philadelphia. Ay, ni yo tampoco, pero ya llegué. <risa> But, uh, pero no, quiero recordarle que me encantaría hacer Day of the Dead otra vez. Ok, contigo. pero... Uh -huh. Nosotros lo vamos a hacer, si quiere. Claro y, que sí. Y no, vamos a, vamos a hacer cosas, continuar trabajando con, juntos. Sí, sí. Pedro, eh, ¿puedes decirme lo que gustes en inglés también? Oh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to tell everybody, tell Veronica that I really enjoyed her presentation. <laughs> and I was very happy to see that she was here. I didn't know that she was back in Philadelphia. Uh, last year, I had the chance to uh, work with uh, Veronica. And we did an amazing, amazing Day of the Dead e exhibit at, at my uh, project. And I would like to have her come back and do another uh, Day of the Dead and also collaborate on anything else. Uh, Veronica is an amazing artist, person, uh, everything. So. Thanks, 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 Pedro. And you need to highlight the name of your place. Oh, yes? De Pedro or me? <laughs> Pete, Pete, go ahead, Pete. Highlight the name of your place. Oh, uh, the Open Kitchen Sculpture Garden. Last year we did the Day of the Dead at, at the Open Kitchen Sculpture Garden. It's a very good place. I really recommend. Actually, uh, we can do something there through, you know, through Cherry Street Pier because Pedro was there when in the opening night to the Cherry Street Pier. Uh, Pedro is a good sculptor guy and he works with uh, recycled things too. He's amazing. I have a lot to learn from him. Sí, Pedro, estoy contigo. Gracias por, por estar aquí. Eh, tú sabes lo mucho que, que te aprecio y tú eres una excelente persona también. Dile hola a Priscila. Ah, ok. Y, este, y bueno, pues nos vemos pronto. Ya saben. Pues pronto, estaré... ahora, ahora que sé que está aquí, nos vemos pronto, claro. Hoy mi está aquí? No, my mother no. My mom no. has to be there. No, sí. Oh, she stayed. All right. Ok. Thank you. Any, anybody else? Where, where is my daughter? <laughs> daughter, you left? <laughs> my daughter left. <laughs> you see it? And los otros son como enigmáticos. The other ones, they are enigmatic. Yes. But I, I wish I can see them, you know? I really like to see people on the screen. But let, let me show you my face then. I know please. you haven't seen me in a while. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to tell you, Betsy is um, giving away stuff from her studio. Give her a call on it or Facebook and she, she got a lot of stuff for free. Really nice. Oh, yes, Betsy. Yeah, she's uh, giving up her studio. Okay, okay. I will check on her. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Betsy is another artist, Joseph. You know, Betsy um, <coughs> Cabañas, Casaña. no? Casaña. Casaña. La, uh, Casaña. Casaña. Yeah. And I am, uh, you are working, Marlene? My work, yes. I'll be leaving at three o'clock. I have a meeting with my boss at two. Yes. Yeah, yes. We, we did summer camp this year and then we did, uh, we're opening up in the fall for, you know, supporting these kids with this whole uh, in house virtual learning. Yes, Marilyn, it's a, a taller Puerto Ricano in Huntington and Fifth. Yes. I'm the education director here and also an artist and Ms. Veronica and I go way back. She's a teleton artist. I'm happy to see that she has her own Zoom event today and she made it to nice. the Thank you. talk of lunch. Yes, it's always interesting to really hear Veronica. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. If I don't, I, I make something interesting. I really like, you know, I am an artist too and I, I wish I can do my stand-up comedy in English. But I have to practice because the last, did, last time I did, I did in Tattoo Mom. And my daughter and my son went to see me and they say, mom, when I hear you, you was so speaking 
like not a good way <laughs> for American people. <laughs> I said, okay, I must write down what I have to say. It's yeah. okay, it's part of the act. You tell them that. Yeah, thank you, Maelin. <laughs> Thanks for showing me your beautiful earrings. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you should talk about your earrings. I bet you you made those, right? No, I bought it there from Oaxaca. Oh, you bought those, okay. Yes, uh, it's a grape. Yes. Okay, the little teeny bees, yes. Yeah, this is beautiful. Thank you guys, thank you for being here. And any anybody else want to say, so, say something? Alguien más quiere decir algo? Yo, yo insisto, eh? <laughs> yeah, no voy a decir nada. Hola, Veronica. It is Jean. I know Jean, you are. <laughs> I just want to say, I am so happy to see you. Uh, talking about your art, and I am honored to have you in my house making art. Yeah, thank and you so I much. Cannot I cannot wait to see you display your work at Cherry Street here. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, my friend. You support me a lot. Gracias, Jean. I am. I'm not showing you my face because my friends of course I would have a fit. I'm driving. Okay. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you shortly, my friend. Congratulations, I love you. Dry safe, I wait for you here, we have lunch. <laughs> yes. This is it. Lunch with Veronica at lunch. <laughs> I have lunch for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, looks like we're about out of time. But if anyone has any final questions for Veronica, otherwise we'll wrap it up. Nobody? No takers. All right, well, thank you everyone for showing up for Artists at Lunch. We do this every other Wednesday. So yeah, our yes. next Artists at Lunch will be on the 16th, Wednesday the 16th at 12.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time for anyone who's on the West Coast. And um, if you'd like, feel free to, if you can, make a donation on our website, Portside Art Center. Um, I'm gonna post, repost that in the chat. Um, and definitely stop by Cherry Street Pier Studio number 12 to visit Veronica during her residency and to see all the great work and other great artists as well on Cherry Street yes. Pier. If you haven't visited Cherry Street, it is a multi-use building dedicated to um, local creatives and independent artists. So there's not just, it's not just us down there. We have a lot of great neighbors um, and it's a beautiful space. So feel free to stop by. All right. Gracias, thank you for having me. Gracias, Joseph. Eh, fue un placer que me hayas ayudado y coordinado esto y gracias a Claudia. Thanks to Claudia and Joseph for Thank telling me. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> Round of applause. Aplauso para todos. Unidos por el arte. We have to be together for the art. It's the only thing can save the world. Art. If no, ask to the Egyptians. They make art all the time. <laughs> Gracias. All right. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.